looking like me and being a footballer was was not didn't go hand in hand. Like right. you know, the players I looked at was you know Maradona, Paul Gascoigne, you know Chris Waddle, players that were talented, and that's who I wanted to emulate. But then I became six foot seven, right? Yeah. And then I that was very very different. And I think mm. being different <clears throat> is could be hard at times certainly for an impressionable kind of teenager and that was quite hard for me at sort of 13 14 15 especially when no one knew who I was or or, or had a maybe a preconception of what I should be mm. um so then when I could play it was always a surprise to people so I felt like I was consistently kind of trying to prove people wrong and that went throughout my career really and then obviously it gets uh, heightened when you play for England and people think you shouldn't and then you know you maybe get booed for England in what should be the the happiest time of your life you've worked all your life to get to that point and then you know you get booed by your own fans and that was hot things like that kept happening to me and then it got to the stage where I was doing well for Liverpool I was doing well for England and and all that stuff mm. stopped. Mm. Would you like to go back and just play for one season for Leeds United? If they'd have me, I'd, do, I'd pack it all in and I'd go up there tomorrow. <gasps> Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> to come and get me, please. Come on. <laughs> he's literally begging you. Leeds will be like that. Do you think he's interested? <laughs> <Not more. laughs>